A tax hike could be on the horizon for BIP taxpayers, but some say they're struggling to get a basic service, trash pickup. You may remember Bibb County privatized pickup and went to a one-time annual fee, but some say it's not working for them. Tonight's 13 WMAZ poll, we want to know how do you rate trash pickup in your community? To tell us if it is a treasure, okay, or trash, just open the 13 WMAZ app or go to 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Epicosaurus joins us live outside of Advanced Disposal in Macon to explain the problem. Abby? Frank and Lori, people say that the garbage company here just isn't getting the job done. Now, I drove down Hartley Bridge Road earlier today right after trash pickup, and what I saw were trash cans thrown about on their sides and some still filled with trash. Cars speeding past empty trash cans after trash day, but some left unturned on their side or still filled with trash bags. Monday is the day for trash pickup for people who live along Hartley Bridge Road. And from what I can tell, there are a few trash cans that haven't been put back properly, some that haven't been emptied. But what neighbors tell me is that for the most part, as long as you put your trash where you're supposed to, it'll get picked up. But Harry Thompson says they don't collect his yard clippings, and it lingers for two or three weeks, creating an eyesore. The most efficient uh, that we could be, we selected a, a level of service that incorporated this Technology. Megan's mayor, Robert Rickert, says new technology like this electric arm on the side of advanced disposals trucks allow for error. Rickert says by privatizing trash and using new trucks, he thought it would become more efficient. But they've received more complaints than ever. The only thing they've contracted to, to do for us is to pick up a, the, the authorized cart that their little one arm bandit fits on and dump it. While some trash cans remained untouched after trash day and yard clippings still near some cans, Rickert says it's a work in progress and the county needs to hear from constituents if they have a problem with their trash. I think as we work through these kinks, your question was, is it a great thing now? No, not yet, but it's in the process. Now, we reached out to Advanced Disposal but did not hear back from them this afternoon. Now, there is an app on Macon Bibb County's website called See, Click, Fix. It looks like somebody on Mallory Drive needs a little help with a new garbage cart. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thanks, Abby. Mayor Rickard says if you have a complaint, you can call the county's customer service line at 478 478-751-7400. Again, that's 478-751-7400. And in our 13WMAZ poll today, it appears that most of you say your trash pickup is trash.